Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, our topic is about law conservation of mechanical energy and energy transformations. At the end of this video, learners are expected to solve problems involving the law of conservation of energy and give sample applications of how energy is transferred. Early Studies on Energy Transfer Julius Robert Mayer, a German scientist, was highly interested in one experiment that he thinks is beneficial for him and his family. He needs to bring up water from a river upstream. To do this, he designed an Archimedean screw to pump up water to a higher level. This is how an Archimedean screw looks like. Upon trying a lot of designs, he realized that there was no way to arrange a machine to do work without anyone doing it. He thought that work is needed to lift the water up and energy must be spent to do this. While James Prescott Joule was able to provide an experimental evidence for the equivalence of work and heat, he came up with an apparatus that converts mechanical energy to produce heat. To produce heat, a moving wheel is used to steer water inside an insulated machine. This is the insulated machine created by James Prescott Joule that converts mechanical energy into heat energy. Every time the wheel is turned, heat is generated because the water present in the insulated box increases temperature. Hence, mechanical energy can be converted to heat energy. Inertia and Energy Conservation This is the illustration of Galileo's frictionless ramp that shows the height of the ramp and the direction of the object's motion. Based on Galileo's mirrored frictionless ramp, the ball will reach the same height as that of its initial position provided that the ramp is frictionless. This is true regardless of the length of the ramp on the other side. It will still reach the same height. Just like these examples, regardless of the length of the ramp on the other side, it will still reach the same height. How does energy changes in a ramp? Potential energy at maximum has no value of kinetic energy or zero and vice versa. For a closed system, the total mechanical energy is constant. It is just being transformed from one form to another form. In the case of the frictionless ramp between potential and kinetic energy, this will give us the law of conservation of energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It is only transformed from one form to another, but the total amount of energy in the system remains the same. Therefore, the total mechanical energy in a system remains the same during any process. Mathematically, the law of conservation of mechanical energy can be expressed as Mechanical energy before is equal to mechanical energy after. Let's apply that equation in the sample problem. Consider a fruit hanging on a twig with potential energy of 150 joules. If the fruit suddenly falls to the ground, what is the kinetic energy of the fruit as it lands? To answer the sample problem, let's follow these steps. Step 1. Identify what is required to find in the problem. You are asked to find the kinetic energy of the fruit as it lands. Step 2. Identify the given in the problem. The initial potential energy of the fruit is given. Potential energy before is equal to 150 joules. Step 3. Write the working equation. Potential energy before plus kinetic energy before is equal to potential energy after plus kinetic energy after. Step 4. Substitute the given values. Potential energy before plus zero is equal to zero plus kinetic energy after. Therefore, kinetic energy after is equal to potential energy before. Since the given value is 150 joules, the final answer is kinetic energy after is also equal to 150 joules. Since energy cannot be created nor destroyed, how does energy transformation take place? Energy transfer in everyday life The sun is a common source of energy among plants. It transfers light energy to plants. 
Plants then use the light energy through photosynthesis to convert it to chemical energy. The available chemical energy is then converted to fuel processes within plants. At home, most appliances are powered by electrical energy. For example, a water heater receives electrical energy, then it converts into heat. A television also receives electrical energy, then it is converted to light, sound, and heat energy. Consider your brother holding a ball. While holding the ball above the ground, the ball has gravitational potential energy. When your brother loses grip on the ball, the ball started to acquire kinetic energy because it is now moving. However, it also loses its potential energy due to energy transfer. The gravitational potential energy of the object is initially converted to kinetic energy until all gravitational potential energy is completely converted to kinetic energy. The ball changes its gravitational potential energy as it falls to the ground. Archery also demonstrates elastic potential energy. Recall that the elastic potential energy is the energy stored due to the movement of elastic objects, like springs. When you pull the string of the bow, it stores elastic potential energy. When the arrow is released, the string pushes it like a spring. All stored elastic potential energy of the bow is now transferred to the arrow, giving it kinetic energy. The cars in roller coaster changes its kinetic and potential energy as it moves through its loop track. Notice that during the ride, there are points in between where the passengers are inverted. These are called loops. Loops are designed not to have the same height as the slope as a safety precaution. Normally, it is half the height of the highest point. Engineers always endeavor to make the rails of a roller coaster as frictionless as possible. They try to do it by lubricating the wheels, axles, bearings, and the rails. But since the ride is usually made of iron and exposed to the environment, rust appears at its metal parts. Rust contributes to friction. Friction is a retarding force or a non-conservative force. Energy transformation in industries. The earliest version of machines is the steam locomotive or the steam engine. These classic-looking trains dates to the 1800s and spearheaded the Industrial Revolution. In these engines, burnt coal is used to heat water inside a chamber called boiler. The expanding water then moves the pistons that are connected to a drive, train, or gears. This mechanism allows the train to move forward. A steam-powered train which uses heat to be converted to mechanical energy for it to move. Heat can be used by allowing heated water to boil. It then causes it to expand and move other objects like piston and turbines. In turn, the movement causes a generator to produce electricity. Take note that in all energy transformation, there is always a loss of energy in the form of heat. However, the total energy of the system remains the same. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational videos by clicking the notification bell.